Hi, I'm Lynette Engstrom. Hi, I'm Nicole Wong. Hi, my name is Shadia Mumtaz. My name is Celeste Goodwin. I am an engineer. I never thought I would be an engineer. I decided to major in engineering after I realized that majoring in chemistry probably wouldn't get me so far open up as many doors. I actually didn't grow up with a bunch of engineers. I didn't really know what engineering was, but I knew that I really liked solving problems and I was good at math and science, so that's obviously a good thing. But beyond just being good at math and science, applying those things to real world problems and just solving these problems that you need so many angles to come at um, is why I decided to go into that even if I didn't have a lot of people around me doing that. Little did I know my mother studied engineering in college. I never even knew that. So it actually became something really special for me to know that I was kind of carrying on her legacy. And now we have that connection as both being female engineers in our family and I'm really proud of it. I think the best thing about being a female engineering student here at USC is that everyone supports you and everyone believes in you. I'm really grateful that USC has different programs and organizations set up for us to join and feel included. Being the only female in my class for astronautical engineering, it was difficult at times to break into all the other guys that were part of my class because they would always stick together. All those other female engineers were also taking the same classes as me because they overlapped with the AME department. And it felt nice having a family of other female engineers who were going through the same experience as I was. I would say go for it. Even if you don't know exactly what it is, I didn't know what it was coming into school, but I think just knowing as a young woman and a young girl, you can do it if you like to make things, if you like to do experiments, you know, through trial and error, trying this, that, this kind of engineering, another kind of engineering. If you're constantly wondering why the world works this way, how the world works this way, is I think how you really find your passion. Um, and don't be afraid just because you don't see someone like you in the media or something else doing engineering. Um, if you are interested, you go for it and find your people. All of those are things that fit the envelope of an engineer and a 21st century engineer and an engineer of the future. And so I think just knowing that this is something that you can do, you don't have to fit this stereotype of what you might imagine an engineer to be. And once you get past that, all the doors swing wide open.